Hello! In this video we are going to connect to the board over USB using a terminal program called YAT, which is Y-A-T, and you can use YAT to program the Wi-Fi on your control board or do diagnostics on it. So we need to install YAT as well as possibly a USB driver so your computer can see the board. Uh, not all operating systems need this USB driver, but I will show you how to install it. So you can go ahead and start going to our website under our FAQ section under info FAQ. And then we're going to go to the Wi-Fi section here on our FAQ section. You can either scroll down to it or use our quick links on the right and click on Wi-Fi. And these are instructions on how to uh, change and edit the Wi-Fi network, either to change it or to have it connect to your existing Wi-Fi. There we already have a video covering on this, which is right here. But in this video, we're going to focus on the Yacht terminal connection. So here we have the Yacht terminal, and it will take you to uh, SourceForge, where you go ahead and download Yacht and install it just as a normal program. We already have Yacht installed on this computer, so I have it open here, and this is what the terminal window looks like. So, uh, you uh, may not have a terminal open when you start, so you'll first hit File and then New Terminal. And now we're going to switch to uh, my tabletop view, which is here. And I have the uh, Duet board, Duet 2 board, which is the board in 3D Potter printers. And it is connected over USB right now. So, normally your Duet board in the case, which for our normal printers will have a uh, it be vertically like this and you plug in the USB cable here at the bottom. So when you go ahead and plug it in and out you can see here all the light, uh, two lights come he on here. This light is to say the USB light is plugged in and this is our Wi-Fi indicator light. So uh, now we are going to switch back to the screen view. So here on the screen uh, you can go ahead and click new terminal and then uh, just ignore any errors that come up and see if the board is here. And if it's not here, go ahead and click refresh. If the Duet board is not here, go ahead and unplug the USB and plug it back in. You can also do this on the computer port on the USB side. And then go ahead and hit refresh and then the board should appear. If it is not appeared, you will have to install the driver for the USB. There's instructions for this uh, here also on getting connected to your Duet board. So here on the website, there is USB drivers as well as getting connected to your board over USB. So this is the official manufacturer's guide on how to connect to the board. So there's unboxing and then connect to your board via USB. Highly recommend following these steps. This is the manufacturer guide process. Just as we have the uh, USB drivers listed here, they have them listed here as well. So go ahead and follow these instructions and get connected to your board. Once you are connected to your board, this is the window you are met with. And so you can send various commands. Right now I'm going to send M552 and press enter. We are not connected to the board, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this little close terminal and I'm going to hit reconnect. As you can see here, we are not connecting, so I'm going to close all terminals, start a new terminal, look for the board, the board's not there, so I'll go ahead and unplug the USB, in and out, refresh, and there's our board. I'm going to send my M552 command, and M552 command is the Wi-Fi command. So if you hit M552 with no other commands, it will tell you the status of the Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi is currently connected to our internal Wi-Fi network at our warehouse, which is 3D Potter. And it also tells you the IP address that it's connected to. Just some other basic commands for Wi-Fi is you add an S0 to it. The Wi-Fi is now off. I'm going to add an S1. That will tell the board to start trying to connect to your network that you have programmed, as you can see. So go back to S2, and we'll type uh, type S0, and then we'll type S2 here, so S0. Now you can see, now we're not connecting to an access point, instead we're providing Wi-Fi. So you have full control of the board connected over USB, and you can do all kinds of diagnostics and such to 
test out the board. Thank you for watching.